think about what happened with the the the, the Pauls and Floyd Mayweather? Mm. Was it staged? Of course, to a certain extent, but then there was some shit that was real, like like Floyd was leaning into it when he was running around afterwards, like I'm gonna kill that motherfucker, yeah. I'm gonna kill him. Like yeah. he Floyd knows the cameras are on and he's gonna charge us up because he's yeah. like, the more promo we do today, the less I have to do until the fight. Yeah. If this shit flopped, then he gotta do another promo thing. He's gotta go and do some more stuff. And they had an amazing promo for it. I'll tell you this, you can't say Jake Paul made his career off of Logan Paul. If anybody ever said that before, that's done. Yeah. Because Logan is getting a lot of help from Jake right now. I mean, Jake, Jake really, really stole the, the show, man. He did. He, he made really it more interesting. He really stole the show. He fucking stole the show. And it's so funny, man, because, like, I really like Logan. Yeah. Like, because he's so fucking likable. Like, yeah. even off air, just talking to Logan, yeah, he's a good he guy. is a good guy and genuinely likable. Yeah. Like, nice, kind person. I mean, I remember asking about fucking NFTs and shit like that. He just immediately hooked me up with his NFT thing. Randomly hooked me up with this kid in Tennessee. He's like, he's like yo, this is good for you guys to meet. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. Genuinely good, right? Um, so I think it's hard for him to play heel. Yep. He had one time in his life where he did some fucked up shit, and it was out of character. Like, out of character meaning his character, I think, is more profitable when he's likable okay because that is closer to who he is okay jake can play the fuck out of a heel and yeah. ain't nothing more interesting than a heel yeah floyd has been so interesting his whole life since he started becoming a heel yep. connor incredibly interesting as a heel mm -hmm. it is hard to be the face yeah i mean think about characters in wrestling or anything else that are a face and likable even the great tom brady is best when he's poking fun, when he's being petty, oh, when yeah. he's talking shit, when he's leaning into heel. Yeah. Nobody want to care about the Tom Brady. Oh, we work really hard. We pass everybody. We did all this shit. Fuck that. We care about him posting pictures of the team that got their ass bust saying talk shit again or whatever the yeah. fuck he was saying. You know how, I don't know if this applies, but in wrestling, when you want to make a guy popular, you'll make him a heel first. And then have everybody him hate him and then you flip. It's easier. Yeah. It's an easier road to popularity Yeah. that I don't suggest that Logan plays, even though I've come on this podcast and I'm like, it's easier if he plays the heel, blah, blah, blah. It will be easier if he wants to just make money and then this is the big fight. If he just goes full fucking, if he goes full Tiki Torch alt-right, this fight would make $200 million. Yeah. But then what do you do the rest of your career? The kid's no. still young. Yeah. I think you're going to make less because you're not the heel and it's harder to sell, but... I think it's a better long play for your career. Yes. If for whatever reason, and I do not see this happening at all, but if for whatever reason he ends up beating Floyd, yeah. the guy's fucking, the guy could be president. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the guy could be fucking president. Imagine not retard Rocky. <laughs> That's Logan Paul. Guy, this fight. He, he beats Floyd. He beats <laughs> Floyd. Imagine. Rocky got a statue he couldn't even read. <laughs> <laughs> He's a full fucking retard, this guy. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine a well-spoken guy goes and fights against essentially the Apollo Creed of the real world, Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Imagine he wins that fight and he's well-spoken and funny and charismatic. What could that guy not do? The retard got a statue, a real statue for a movie character. That is kind of all right. I see that. The not tard. Yep. But also, hating Asians yeah. is an all-time high. Yeah. That's the only bad thing that he's done in his career. I think a lot of people forgive it right there now. There you go. <laughs> I think they might. I really think they might. Good now point. is the fucking time. Run. Yeah. yeah. Run for if he beats Floyd, he has to run for office. It has to. The Rock and Logan Paul. And oh I'm sorry, God. Rocky, but you gotta be VP. <laughs> you gotta be VP. Huh? VP slash security. Debuggins. VP slash security. Let Logan do it. No, nah, Logan's the face. Logan is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Logan's the face. I don't see what's so funny. So Logan's president is just like the Bushes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then Jake can be like George Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the C the, student. The junior. Smoking yeah. weed, doing coke, fucking bitches on the side. And then he eventually runs. We're like, hey, this ain't that bad. Well, here's what's so genius <laughs> about their strategy to let Jake be the heel. Yeah. Is now he's, he's still doing promo for whatever his next fight yeah, is. Yeah, that's great. And Logan is letting him do promo for this fight. So they're getting Man. promo two fights out with this one thing. Run with it, boys. Yeah, it's brilliant. Fucking run with it. Brilliant. I mean... And Logan be like, oh, I got to protect still, my brother. That's such a Logan... interested you know in mean? seeing Logan and Floyd? Or do you yeah. rather want to see Jake and Floyd? I think, I, think, I think we always want to see the heel in anything. Yeah. Right? But I am more interested in Logan Floyd now just because of that press. I, yeah, I don't and know. And also the shit talk. Like... 
Like, the shit talk was kind of wild. Remember when Floyd said something to him? Like, uh, you know, don't disrespect, uh, you know, Japan or something like that. Like, you disrespected Japan. And Logan was like, you disrespected your wife. <laughs> or something like that. Like, I don't know. Exa- like, they were going, they were deep cut going back and forth. And it was enough to get me kind of into it. I was like, okay. I need to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I only saw the fight, so I didn't. Because, yeah, I only saw the fight. And I'm not necessarily interested in Logan and Floyd, but I'm a little more interested for sure. Mm-hmm. And I'm definitely more interested in Jake. So you got two fights where you peaked interest. Yeah. 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 They, and you saw Jake's tattoo? The gotcha hat thing. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, this guy was selling hats that said gotcha hat yeah. within an hour. Before he even took the hat. The guy planned to take the hat. <laughs> yeah. Like, he understands the game. This yeah. guy understands the game, and he doesn't care if you like him or not. He gets to make the decision what will get the most clicks. Mm-hmm. Without considering how he will be viewed yep. in that decision. Yep. Yep. That is valuable. That is liberating. It's a superpower. Be- exactly. Because think about it. We could all say the craziest shit. Like, uh-huh. I know how to get the most fucking clicks on that Chappelle conversation. Yeah. Just go in, trash, make it look like Chappelle's just trying to undercut hate. Like, we could clickbait the fuck out of that if we want. But it's not authentic. It's not real. Yeah. Okay? That guy knows how to get clicks and can lean into whatever direction. And if you underestimate him, you think he's stupid, I'm telling you, you're the stupid one. And he's going to take your ass to the fucking bank. Yep.